Gerald the Boss Man Show. What's up, people? Had a great show for you once again this week on the Boss Man Show. Boss Man Radio Network, folks. Check out the website, bossmanradioshow.com. You can see our archive interviews, our Boss Man Extras. You can see our audio boom uh, feed there, Stock Stitcher single segment feed there on bossmanradioshow.com. I'm going to tell you something. If you really want to keep up with the show in its full hour format, go to audioboom.com slash the boss man show because on audio boom, you're going to see the links to our radio public page, tune in iTunes podcast. We got it all for you there. I heart radio as well. We got it all for you. Cause I'm pictures pulling up right now for me. I am on my face. I'm going to tell you, you'll see, maybe subscribe to, Apple Podcasts, the RS feed, Spotify, Our Heart, Google Play Music, Stitcher, TuneIn, Radio Public. That's all in our hour format. Go to audioboom.com slash the boss man show. It's kinda like our it's kinda like our hub for our hour format of the show. You get whatever option you have, whatever app you have, whether it be Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Our Heart, Google Play Music, Stitcher. Tune in Radio Public, you can hear the show in its hour format. That's what else you prefer to do in an hour format. Now, if we're going to do it in a single segment format, we got you covered there too. You can go to TuneIn Radio, you can go to Stitcher, you can go to Google Play Music and hear it in the single segment format as well, still. Uh, that feed lags behind the hour feed because we have such a volume of guests, as you all know. So, therefore, we're going to put up one segment per day based on our hosting platform who handles our single segment feed. They have like a one per day upload limit, just kind of giving you the background of it. So, therefore, that's why you only, that's why the single segment is only in February right now because it only allows you to upload one segment per day. And that's because of how the platform is on, and it's it's the easiest platform to get it to multiple platforms for you guys, which is the Google Play Music, which is the Stitcher, and the TuneIn Radio as well. Uh, so check out those links. Now, I don't use this website as much as I used to, but to be able to see every Boss Man Show link, okay, go to Boss Man Show. Dot com slash connect keyword that's boss man show dot com slash connect that will give you access to every link on the boss man show from our website how to email us which is holla that's h o l l a at boss man radio show dot com once again holla h o l l a at BossManRadioShow.com That's how you email the show. So you want to email me the show, hit us up there. But at BossManShow.com Connect. Connect to it. Every BossMan Show platform there. It'd be the Instagram, our Facebook, our Twitter. We have a Snapchat at now on both of our phones, but I'm not quite ready to commit to Snapchat yet because <laughs> I Instagram and Twitter and Facebook is enough for me personally. I have a Snapchat app on the phone, but I'm not quite bought enough to actually activate it to go do it. So that may come soon. The app on the phone, just a little lagging around with it. Uh, don't know yet. Okay. Also, like I said, just any way you want to show, you can show. I mean, we are syndicated via the free radio apps plus our radio station and affiliates down the line. So understand something. Whether you miss it, if you're not in the affiliate market and you miss the show, you have all these options I give you are free options, first of all, free options. And they provide you with the opportunity to hear the show anytime, any place, anywhere on your phone computer, tablet, whatever it is you listen to your podcast or listen to stuff on, you can do it. 
you know, that's the beauty of the boxing show now. We, there's, we're everywhere, every platform. So, like, if you can't find the show, just hit us up. But but if you go to boxingshow dot com slash Nick, you can connect to every platform we have on the Boss Man Show, Boss Man Radio Network, Boss Man Radio Show dot com. Okay, that's key. So understand that. Therefore, you know you can catch up on all your old interviews, now all your old interviews, old boss reports, old FUI reports. Uh, you can hear every anything. You, you can see the show has grown pretty much uh so just want to tell you what you did today now guess why this week uh a lot of march matters this week this week was heavy march matters this week for us heavy march matters because uh a lot of automatic bids was punched this week so you're gonna hear from a lot of coaches who are punished their bids in the double tournament uh get their perspectives on going to the tournament again for the first time for some people uh first year coaches so we're gonna have that call today so today's gonna be like a, like a big March Madness thing today, people. Uh, we gotta we gotta see we gotta stay cutting edge, stay up on what's, what's hot. Yeah, right now it's March Madness. You know that's what it's, that's what it's right now. It's March Madness. It's time to get into it, make it happen. Uh, just stick and stay with us, people. Uh, we're here for you on the Boss Man Show. Uh, we're gonna pre game bring you great content every week, anytime in your place. Understand that we are here for you the people. We are men of the people. We're here to entertain, educate, and electrify in the world of sports and entertainment. Remember that always. Now, I feel like we do entertain, educate, electrify uh, with the guests we have, uh, giving you a lot of different perspectives from people uh, with our weekly guests here. And it's truly all good. And if you don't know, now you know, you know, you know. So like my man Big would say, uh, and she had the end of the boss report. Uh, so, so what's up, people? Great show for you today. Buckle up. Enjoy the ride. Tune in and turn up. It's the Boss Man Show on your radio. <laughs> All your photo, video, and voiceover needs, check out the fine folks at Blu ray Productions. They will take good care of you. If you don't believe me, you can see for yourself. Check out their work at blueberryproductions.tv, the Facebook page, Blueberry Productions, also a Vimeo page, a YouTube page, and it's Blueberry, B L U B E R R Y, prod on Twitter. Check them out today. Blueberry Productions, great people, great work, great service. Fantasy football season is fast approaching, and if you're looking for an edge this season, you need to contact the guys at Draft Day Consultants. The concept is a simple one. Draft Day Consultants takes your requests and connects you with one of their trusted analysts, who then guide you through your draft, whether you just need a sounding board on decisions, or if you need them to conduct your entire draft. Draft Day Consultants has you covered. Every one of their consultants has a proven track record of success, and have conducted hundreds, even thousands of mock drafts. Thanks to this year-round research and analysis, the guys at DDC have an unmatched understanding of player values. So gain an edge on your league mates this season by hitting up DraftDayConsultants.com. That's www.DraftDayConsultants.com. Now get after it, fantasy footballers. Hip-hop fans, I got a great album for you. The debut album from Family Grind ENT, True Speech, and 313 Fresh. We're going to give you two discs, 33 songs of pure, genuine hip hop. Albums available on iTunes, Amazon, Google Play, IllStreetRex.com, and streaming live right now on Rhapsody, Beats Music, Spotify, Xbox Music, Slacker Radio, and SoundCloud. Check them out today True Speech and 313 Fresh, Family Grind ENT. Believe in it, get it. Hello, my name is Travis Williams, President and CEO of Academics and Athletic Consultant, focused on educating and empowering tomorrow's collegiate athletic leaders. 
My passion is for the education and genuine concern and care for today's student athlete. It's the centerpiece of my life's work. A college education, both in and out of the classroom, is a truly rewarding benefit. For more information on AAC, you can go to www.academicsandathleticsconsulting.com. Once again, www.academicsandathleticsconsulting.com. Or you can follow me on Facebook at Academics and Athletic Consulting or Twitter at Coach TWheel24 or Instagram Travis L. Williams24. Or you can call me at 404 542 607. Once again, AAC is very proud to partner with J.R. McHenry of the Boss Man Radio Show covering sports and entertainment across the country. Please tune in weekly for informative, entertaining, and expert analysis on today's sports and entertainment topics. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, it's your man, JC, the host with the most, baby, and it goes down each and every Saturday night right here in the city of Memphis. That's right, y'all. It goes down at Clicks Sports Bar Memphis, baby. 3705 Malco Way, Memphis, Tennessee, 38125. Come out and join us, the Three Kings, each and every Saturday night for the livest karaoke in the city. Everybody gets in free till 10 p.m., only $5 after. Great food. We got drink specials. We got all kind of games, man. We got the pool tables popping. Whatever you want, we got you, man. Come on out. Have a good time with us each and every Saturday night. That's Clicks Sports Bar, Memphis. Back in the JR the Boss Man show here. We have a guest for you. He's on the show last week. We talked to him about his team pre Big South tournament, but guess what? His team won the tournaments. We had Hammock on the show. It's my man Mike Jones from Radford, the Highlanders. Coach Jones, good to talk to you again, man. Man, it's so great to be back on the phone on the air with you, man. Should we uh we had a good couple of days. Yes, indeed, Coach. My guy told me it's good show karma. He says it's good show karma. <laughs> Guys came hey, on the man. show last week, all won tournaments. Lipscomb won, and now you won. So, hey, get some spark in here, man. Something is working. Yes, <laughs> yes sir. indeed. Well, Coach, congrats on that win, man. Just talk to me, Coach. Going back to the big dance for the first time with your tenure at Radford, it's the first time on nine for the whole school, man. So, what does it mean to the program, the city of Radford, the community that you guys made to the big dance, win that Big South tournament there on Sunday? Yeah, it was. Uh, it really was a magical day, man. To be honest, we uh, we were so fortunate to be able to host the game. Um, Liberty had upset the number one seed, and the way our tournament works, with the highest remaining seed gets to host the championship. So we were in Asheville. They lost. Uh, we got to come home on Saturday morning, and our administration did a great job of uh, turning that gym into a Big South uh, championship gym. And uh, so we got a chance to play in front of our home city, our university, students, alums, uh, families, and everything. And that just made it even more special. And the way we ended the game, uh, you know, just put it in on another stratosphere. So, uh, man, God is good, man. What a blessing it was. And uh, we're so appreciative to uh, be in this situation, uh, getting ready to play in the NCAA, NCAA tournament. Now, Coach, I'm going to tell you a quick story. Sunday, the Hawks had a game against the Suns. Mind you, I was going to be out there covering the Hawk game. I was watching you guys play. And uh, <laughs> I saw Carly make that shot, Coach. You were so cool. Like, you was another day in the gym. You just walked <laughs> walk to go shake hands. Like, Coach, how do you remain so calm in that hectic ma- at mayhem moment? It was so great for the universe. You was, oh, you was so cool. Like, boy, he went in, boom, go shake this guy's head. You was just so cool, Coach. <laughs> How'd you hold man, it together, I man? You what, I tell you what, man, man. God's in control of my life. 
You know, and when, it, when God's in control, you're like, you don't have to stress about a whole bunch of stuff, man. And uh, I was just at peace the whole day. I just, when I woke up that morning, I wasn't worried about anything. I felt confident. Um, I wasn't stressed at all. Uh, even during the game, no matter how tight it got, I wasn't stressed at all. And, uh, man, it just, uh, those guys make you like that, too, because they are, uh, you know, they're locked in with, you know, what we've been doing, they, they bought into what we're doing. And so when they go out there, they're executing the way they should. And, uh, man, they just they did it all for me. I just sat there and watched. <laughs> yes, indeed. Hey, Coach, you were definitely a cool all game. I was shocked, man. I was watching, like, coaches are so calm. And, like, I saw it all over the TV <laughs> how calm you was. So I'm like, man, he's, he's, he's yeah. locked in. His players are locked in. These guys are going to pull this off today. I know they're going to pull it off. And lo and behold, you did it. Yeah, it's taken me seven years to be that calm. Now I wasn't. I haven't always been that calm. So, uh, hey. but now nah, it's uh, when you have good players and you have good coaches. You know, you don't have to go, go crazy. You can uh, you can allow those guys to do their job, and they did. And speaking of your players, coach, for those who may miss the interview last week, we had you on the show, and our listeners and some of our people who may miss last week, share with our listeners once more the key guys who helped you win the Big South Tournament, who's helped you all year long, who they'll be watching in, in the big dance when you all play the next Thursday or Friday, hopefully, in a site near Atlanta, the way I can go see you guys play. Yeah, that'd be great. Uh, you know, as uh, all the guys uh, have contributed in one way or another, man, to uh, to our team, that's what makes us so special is that we've got a great team. We're not a collection of individuals. We are a team, and that that's fun. But the guys that have really, uh, you know, been – some of the uh, leaders, whether it be uh, emotional leaders or uh, vocal leaders or leaders by example, have been obviously uh, our seniors. Uh, Randy Phillip, a uh, big fella inside. He's just the heart and soul of our team and uh, just an unbelievable person to coach. Um, uh, Justin Cousin and, and Christian Bradford, those three seniors have set a high bar for our underclassmen you know, to be leaders. And then uh, you know, Ed Polite Jr., our uh, he's he's been our you know most productive guy all year in every category. He's kind of like a Swiss Army knife, man. He can do a little bit of everything: uh, points, rebounds, steals, blocks, uh, you name it, man. He uh, he does so much for our team. And uh, and then uh, beyond that, you know, our freshman of the year, Carly Jones, man. He stepped up and and playing not like a freshman for sure, playing like a guy who's been in college basketball for a couple of years and with his confidence and uh, his, uh, you know, his leadership ability. So, you know, we're blessed with a lot of, a lot of uh, talent on our team and uh, just some really good guys who, who uh, want to be a great team. Now, Coach, what's good, what's good about how you won coaches in recruiting? The guys are going to remember Rafford made that big shot to win the tournament, tournament game, so I feel like it's going to help you in recruiting. Getting, being in the tournament, getting, pe- getting people talk about your story in the tournament where they cover the games, it's going to help you in recruiting your guys and say, hey, I can live out my dream playing ball at Rafford because those guys can go to the tournament. And I've seen it on TV myself in my own two eyes, them guys. The, 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 the Davidson Center was rocking, and I can go there and have a great time and learn and play good ball and learn from a good coach. Yeah, that's the that's the the hope is that uh, you know I know a lot of people there weren't a lot of games on that day so a lot of people probably got a chance to see us play and you know hopefully they see we have you know great atmosphere we have a lot of passion for basketball in Bradford and uh, we've got a good team with good players and you know the ultimate goal of any college basketball player at at any level but particularly at Division One is to play in the NCAA tournament and and we're doing that so they'll get a chance to see it and believe it that hey it can be that can be them if they come to Radford. So uh, we're going to definitely try to use this momentum and and continue to do a good job. Our coaches have done a great job over the years in getting talent in here, and hopefully this makes their job a little bit easier. Yes, indeed, folks. We have Mike Jones here at Radford on the Boss Man Show with me here talking about his program that he won the Big South Tournament Championship on Sunday here. Now, Coach, for my listeners who are going to see you for the first time, what do you want them to take away from seeing your team play either next Thursday or Friday when you learn out who you're going to play on, on Sunday here on, on my birthday? <laughs> well, I want, them, I, I, what I want people to see when they see our team is I want them to see, uh, you know, the love that our players have for each other. Uh, you know, they, they're all brothers. We're, we're a true family, uh, basketball family. And, you know, I want them to see how connected those guys are, how they play together. They're unselfish. They uh, they help each other out when when one guy gets beat, the other guy's there to you know help stop his man. Or if one guy turns it over, the, the guy's there to get back and, and get a stop. So 
Uh, I want them to see how well these guys work together, and that's the reason why teams uh, win championships is when you have that kind of uh, connectedness. So, uh, yeah, that's what I'd love to see, man, and those guys out there just you know, having fun and, and uh, making the most of this moment. Now, Coach, with this layoff you have here, how do you balance rest versus staying sharp with these days off before you play? Like I said, on next Thursday or Friday. So how are you going to probably try to balance this for these guys, kind of give them some, some time to get ready? Also, by not, not trying to overwork them too much, so they be gassed out by the time you, you play next week. So how are you going to balance that here going forward? Well, first of all, we're on spring break, so uh, uh, we let the guys go home for a few days. Uh, we'll get them back here Wednesday night, Thursday morning. We'll practice Thursday uh, in the early afternoon, and, and we still have uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday before we even know who we're going to play. So uh, we'll just ease them back in, get them moving a little bit, shots up, uh, fine-tune our offense, fine-tune our defense, but not, you know, work them, uh, you know, crazy. And then uh, once we find out our opponent, uh, then we'll kind of uh, gear some of our stuff toward them. But this is a great opportunity for us to get better at us, which, you know, you want to do every day anyway. So uh, we're excited about those few days when we can just work on us. Now, Coach, this is a great opportunity you have, this great accomplishment you have. I want to take, take, you back, take you back a little bit here and ask you about some coaches and individuals in your career, professional and personal, who've had the greatest impact on you as you live this great moment that you live in your coaching career against the tournament birth your school is, is happy everybody around you is happy so who are some people who really help you to get to this point coach you want to shout out and kind of talk about here for our listeners to kind of know who helped mold you and the person you are today man how long i got man i got a long list but uh take your time coach uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know what uh you know first and foremost uh you know dennis felton uh who's the head coach at cleveland state is playing tonight for a chance to go to the NCAA tournament. And uh, I just want everybody who, who uh, has a personal relationship with, with, with Jesus to throw a prayer up for that man tonight. He, uh, he took over this program this year, and in his first year, they got a chance to go to the tournament. Uh, so he's been the number one influence in my coaching career. He, he and I played college ball together at Howard University, and uh, he got into coaching before me. But I looked at him and saw what he was doing and how much fun he was having, and I got in because of him. And he helped me a lot early on in my career. I finally worked with him at the University of Georgia for six years. So, uh, you know, he, he would be number one. And then, you know, there's so many people like uh, assistant coach at East Carolina, Ken Patasnik, who I worked with at Furman, under Larry Davis, who's the uh, associate head coach at, at Cincinnati. Those two guys really had a lot of impact on my career. They taught me how to be an assistant coach, and uh, I'm so grateful to them. And then got a chance to work with Coach Beeline, who obviously is one of the Hall of Fame-type coaches in the, in the college basketball ranks. And then, uh, you know, my man, Saka Smart, he uh, 10 years, 12 years younger than me, but I learned more from him than I've learned from, from anybody in a, in a short uh, period of time, those two years that we worked together at VCU. So, Man, I've just been incredibly blessed to work with some of the most talented people in this game, and uh, it's really helped me become who I am as a coach today. Now, Coach, that's one I got for you. Is like, you mentioned you went to Howard. I went to Tennessee State. So you talk about for okay. uh, Atlanta here, uh, we have a lot of HBCUs right here down the road on North Side Drive here, right yeah. down the studio here. So talk about going to HBCU, that experience, and how HBCUs can help mold our young men to be better men, teach them about how to what, what, what our issues are. So talk a little bit about that, how that going to Howard helped you. I know going to TSU helped me a lot, Coach. It made me a better man, oh, man. Leaving, leaving Florida, going no to, to Nashville. So how did going to Howard help you? And how can HBCU still help our young men, Swayteen, and down the road here going forward? That is a great question. I tell you what, man, uh, going to Howard University has fueled my confidence for the rest of my life. Like, once you walk on that campus and you see – black people from all walks of life, you know, poor, middle-class, rich, you know, you see all nations, uh, the Caribbean, Africa, you know, just everywhere from Chicago to Florida to LA. I mean, people from all these diverse backgrounds and they're all right there. And then you have professors that are black, you have doctors, you have lawyers, you have you know, everything within a university. And it's just, you know, it just empowers you. It makes you feel like you can do anything. And uh, that's what I got from it. And once you get that, and you're in there for four years, and you feel, you know what? Nobody can tell me I'm not intelligent. Nobody can tell me I'm not, 
I can't be great at this because I, I saw so many people that were doing it and they, uh, you know, that power transferred to me. So then when I left there, it was like, you couldn't tell me nothing. I, I can do anything. And uh, that's the part about uh, black colleges that we maybe don't quite understand or uh, young people don't get that they need to know about. Yes, indeed, Coach. I tell you what, I try to do my best for the HBCUs here in town to help them out because I'm an HBCU product myself, so I try to do what I can for them, man, because it's important that we support those because they have a place in our society, a place with our people that can help fuel and can give you confidence where you thought you never had. Like you said, Coach, it's very going to do bigger and better things no matter what your field may be. We can get you there if you just trust us and take what we give you and go out there and use it and run around with it. You'll be good to go in your, in your, in your life. No question, no question about it. They, yeah, they have the, uh, they can play a much bigger role in our in our community. Well, Coach Jones, I tell you what, I'm happy for you and your university. I look forward to seeing where you guys land. Hopefully, you be in either Nashville or, or somewhere close. I can get to you from Atlanta to see you guys play, man. So, because I can come meet you in person and cheer your team on and wear some of that red, red and black. For no tissue tiger, <laughs> I'll wear some red, red, red and black for you, Coach. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. If we play where you are, man, you send me a song. We have a short way to play. Yes, indeed, Coach. No doubt, folks. Check them out. Cheer for them. Red from Highlands, Mike Jones on the Boston Show, people. Check them out, please. all your photo video and voiceover needs check out the fine folks at blu-ray productions they will take good care of you if you don't believe me you can see for yourself check out their work at blueberryproductions.tv the facebook page blueberry productions also a vimeo page a youtube page and it's blueberry b-l-u-b-e-r-r-y prod on twitter check them out today blueberry productions great people great work great service Fantasy football season is fast approaching, and if you're looking for an edge this season, you need to contact the guys at Draft Day Consultants. The concept is a simple one. Draft Day Consultants takes your requests and connects you with one of their trusted analysts, who then guide you through your draft, whether you just need a sounding board on decisions or if you need them to conduct your entire draft. Draft Day Consultants has you covered. Every one of their consultants has a proven track record of success and have conducted hundreds, even thousands of mock drafts. Thanks to this year-round research and analysis, the guys at DDC have an unmatched understanding of player values. So gain an edge on your league mates this season by hitting up DraftDayConsultants.com. That's www.DraftDayConsultants.com. Now get after it, fantasy footballers. Hip-hop fans, I got a great album for you. The debut album from Family Grind ENT, True Speech, and 313 Fresh. We're going to give you two discs, 33 songs of pure, genuine hip-hop. Albums available on iTunes, Amazon, Google Play, illstreetrex.com, and streaming live right now on Rhapsody, Beats Music, Spotify, Xbox Music, Slacker Radio, and SoundCloud. Check them out today, True Speech and 313 Fresh, Family Grind ENT. Believe in it, get it. Hello, my name is Travis Williams, President and CEO of Academics and Athletic Consultant, focused on educating and empowering tomorrow's collegiate athletic leaders. My passion is for the education and genuine concern and care for today's student athlete. It's the centerpiece of my life's work. A college education, both in and out of the classroom, is a truly rewarding benefit. For more information on AAC, you can go to www.academics.com and athleticsconsulting.com. Once again, www.academicsandathleticsconsulting.com. Or you can follow me on Facebook at Academics and Athletic Consulting or Twitter at Coach T Wheel 24 or Instagram Travis L. Williams 24. Or you can call me at 404 542 607. Once again, 
AAC is very proud to partner with J.R. McHenry of the Bossman Radio Show, covering sports and entertainment across the country. Please tune in weekly for informative, entertaining, and expert analysis on today's sports and entertainment topics. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, it's your man, JC, the host with the most, baby, and it goes down each and every Saturday night right here in the city of Memphis. That's right, y'all. It goes down at Clicks Sports Bar Memphis, baby. 3705 Malco Way, Memphis, Tennessee, 38125. Come out and join us, the Three Kings, each and every Saturday night for the liveest karaoke in the city. Everybody gets in free till 10 p.m., only $5 after. Great food. We got drink specials. We got all kind of games, man. We got the pool tables popping. Whatever you want, we got you, man. Come on out. Have a good time with us each and every Saturday night. That's Clicks Sports Bar, Memphis. Man show and we're joined by the Lipscomb Bison's head coach, my mom's alma mater, Casey Alexander on the Boss Man Show. Casey, I gotta tell you, man, my mom is happy as I'll get out that you guys are in the tournament, man. She's hoping you guys play in Nashville so I can come up there and see you guys play because I'll be on <laughs> site there. Well, it's a fun time. There's no doubt about that. And people like your mom are, uh, are a lot of the reason why. You know, there's a lot of people who invested time and effort and money and everything else into uh let's go our basketball program in one way or another and so it's great for them to be excited and and get some get some reward and some recognition and casey today she was talking to me about how she was doing when y'all was in ai back then so she was talking to me yeah. about that i'm like wow that's way before my, me and his time so but she was <laughs> know, well. giving it all to me casey but, yeah, it's uh, this this tradition goes back a long time. We've been playing hoops here for a long time, and uh, those NAI years, you know, national champs and uh, you know, ranked highly ranked for most of the time, and that's that's how that's that's what a lot of people think of Lipscomb in basketball. But now we're we're able to turn the page and, and bring home a little NCAA hardware. Yes, indeed. You win the ACL tournament, Casey. You was on Florida, Gulf Coast, home Florida. So that's a team you guys have been gunning for for years in that conference. So how did it feel, though, as you slayed the Giant on their own floor uh-huh. in their house to, to point Lipscomb's first ticket to the big dance, man? Uh, man you just can't put it into words. You know, we had, we've actually had some, some decent success against them. Lipscomb's the only team in the league with a winning record against FGCU, for one. Uh, you know, you go back to that Sweet 16 run that they had. Lipscomb swept them that year. I wasn't the coach. Uh but even this year, we won on their home floor in the regular season. So we knew uh, we had a chance to, to win the game, but it wasn't easy by any stretch. They had a great crowd. They're a great team. They were the number one team in the league. So uh, finding a way to get it done, it was really remarkable. Man, so how's the community being up there in Nashville, and how's the people been around the program since you guys went? I can only imagine your phone's been buzzing a lot, a lot of media <laughs> requests, yeah. a, lot, a lot of fans around, so wearing yellow, yeah. yellow and purple now. So talk to me, how's it been, man, this whole, this whole journey you've been on these last few days? Totally nonstop whirlwind tour. Uh, it took us about 24 hours to get back to town. Uh, they had a welcoming party for us at about 11 p.m. when the bus drove up to campus. I'd say it was you know, three to 400 people uh, enthusiastically waiting for us. And uh, so that was a lot of fun. Um, you know, and then it's been the media circus and just hearing from friends and family and former players and former coaches and former this and former that. You know, it, it's really it's been a fun thing to kind of watch everybody come together and get excited over it. Yes, indeed. And, Casey, for the guys who maybe I was you, I had you on the show, man, Tell the people again about the key players on your roster who helped you all year long and this tournament to yeah. get you to the big dance here coming up next week. Well, we got two first team all conference players. Both of them are local guys, you know, live within 15 miles of campus. Uh, both of them are juniors. Uh, Garrison Matthews is our leading scorer. Um, thought he might be the player of the year in the league, but he wasn't. Uh, but 
unanimous pick. He's led us in scoring all season long at 20 plus per game. Scored the first eight the other night in the tournament game and had 26 at halftime. So pretty good uh, right there. And then Rob Marbury's the other one who is our low post guy. And he in conference play, he averaged 20 points a game and was also first team all conference. So those two guys have carried us on that end of the floor. But you know the reason our team is better than it's ever been is because we've got more pieces and more balance, and you know we're a little bit more. Um, you know, we're we're better across the board than we've ever been. Now, think about that. I think about like recruiting wise, man. With this exposure you're about to get on on this national stage here, guys are gonna be calling you. Guys, if you've been looking at, probably gonna call your <laughs> coaches back now and be like, "Hey, I might want to come to school now." He's gotta go to the tournament here. So, so has recruiting kind of like ticked up for the last few days with guys kind of saying, "Hey, coach, I think I'm interested in more than I was previously." Yeah. Well, we're not we're not doing our job if we don't try to capitalize on this, right? I mean, there's nothing, <laughs> yeah, to. Yeah. There's nothing better to sell than uh, than than being able to say, "Hey, you come to Lipscomb, you can play in the NCAA tournament." So, so yeah, we're working on that piece. And, and the truth is, you know, there's a lot of short term benefit, you know, and but which is all centered around these current players and you know everybody that's here right now. But there will definitely be some long term benefit to, you know, all the things that that playing in the double a tournament can do for you you know going forward with recruiting and and fundraising and you name it now for the folks out here casey who may not see you guys play which they they haven't they're 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 missing out when they watch you in the tournament here what do you want guys to take take away from seeing you your team play and what do you want them to say about the lipscomb bisons once they watch you you guys play this next week yeah, well, the um, yeah, I think what they'll notice more than anything is just our aggressiveness offensively. I mean, we're a, a really fun style to play in and a fun style to watch. Uh, our tempo, which basically means the number of possessions per game, we're in the top ten in the country. So we play fast. Our games are fast. They're high scoring. You know, we averaged mid eighties maybe in in on the season or at least in conference play. I know we did. Uh, you know, so we scored a bunch of points. We scored 108 in that championship game, and so it's a it's a it's a get up and down the floor. Uh, we recruit good offensive players. That's kind of our calling card. So, you know, it's actually you know it's a formula where if everything goes right, you know, it'll give us a chance to to, to get that upset that everybody likes to talk about. Yes, Neil, you, you kind of mentioned it previously. I've been hearing from old coaches, old friends. So you could, Casey, share with us some coaches, individuals who really had an impact on you in your career at this moment mm-hmm. is really because of their, their help and directing you in the right direction to get you to where you are today. Yeah, well, I mean, and there are they're people that I stay in regular contact with, honestly. I mean, you know, I, my high school coaches, um, you know, still lives in the area. He was here at practice last week. And, you know, so he's one person. My college coach is Rick Bird at Belmont, who I also work for for a long, long time. And he and I stay in touch regularly. So it wasn't so much those guys that I was talking about. I really met more of the people that were – the coaches that were here before us, uh, the coaches that, you know, or or assistant coaches that have come and gone, players that have come and gone. You know, when you called me, I was actually texting some former players, just telling them thanks for their contribution to the program and, you know, and and all that they did that helped us get here. You know, so it's really a lot of people that have made this happen, even though our players are the one that did it on the floor uh, Sunday afternoon. Now, I want to ask you this, Casey. Now, how do you balance this rest versus practicing a lot because you don't know mm-hmm. really what day you're going to play next week so how do you balance kind of kind of just resting the guys give them some time off and kind of want to stay yeah. sharp get some shots up and get work on you guys game a little bit here and there yeah i think i think you have to keep the main thing the main thing and that is uh to get yourself ready to play a game so so we're not just going to go on spring break i can promise you that um we we took a couple of days off um and we got back on the floor today for about an hour. Uh, it was really, it was almost like an off season workout. It wasn't, we didn't do any team work. It was just individual skill development stuff just so they could get back out on the floor and break a sweat and, and so forth. And then we'll, we'll kind of ease back into some practice. Uh, but there's nobody to prepare for. We don't even know who we play until Sunday. So, um, so we'll focus on ourselves and trying to get better. And then, you know, then eventually find out who we play and then we'll prepare just like every other game. Well, Case, so Sunday's a great day, Casey, for you and me. That's my birthday, 31 years old, so I can't wait for <laughs> Sunday. So it's a yeah, great day for you and me. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, there's a lot of anticipation here. There's no doubt about that. We're, we know we're going to be playing somebody really good, but uh, we don't know where. We don't know when. Uh, so and all those things, the uncertainty, we'll know soon enough, I guess. 
Now, Casey, now Mike Jones of Radford told me this earlier today about uh, the show Karma. And I guess he's right, because get this. I'm going to read it off to you. You've been on the show. You're in the tournament. Mike's in the tournament. Derek Kellogg's in the tournament. Okay, this is getting good. Matt McMahon's in the tournament. Uh, Earl Grant at Charleston. Scott Nagy is in on the So all the guys come on the show get in the tournament, man. So something's there going you go. on there. There you go. Checks in the mail, I guess. You know what I mean? You need a finder's fee. You need to start charging something. So you probably yeah, get a lot man, more people like, on your show. Yeah, yeah. man. Like Mike Jones like, you know what, JR? All these guys you talk to, we all in the tournament, man. I'm like, mm-hmm. you're right. <laughs> I didn't realize that yeah. you brought it up to my attention. It's well, I'll, I'll, ask you, I'll ask you politely and professionally, Dan. Don't call anybody else in our league. Let's just keep this between you and us, and, um, and let's leave Kennesaw and all those other guys out of it. I sure, so, hey, you got my word. I'll do that for you, man. Because yeah. hey, hey, you listen to all my ass, my heart. Because that's, that's my mom's school, so I always gotta treat you all with the best. <laughs> because that's my mom's school. If I don't, she'll get lay into me real good, man. There you go. That's good all right, stuff. Casey, man. Hey, good luck, and I hope you guys play in Nashville. I hope that's the case. But if not, I hope to see you. I'll, cheer, I'll be cheering for you guys. You know, what or what, man. I'm so happy for you in the program. I'm happy for my mom and all you guys, all you bisons, man. Y'all have always been good to me in my whole life. So I'm happy to see you all have success, man. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. I always enjoy it. Take care. all your photo video and voiceover needs check out the fine folks blu-ray productions they will take good care of you if you don't believe me you can see for yourself check out their work at blueberryproductions.tv the facebook page blueberry productions also a vimeo page a youtube page and it's blueberry b-l-u-b-e-r-r-y prod on twitter check them out today blueberry productions great people great work great service Fantasy football season is fast approaching, and if you're looking for an edge this season, you need to contact the guys at Draft Day Consultants. The concept is a simple one. Draft Day Consultants takes your requests and connects you with one of their trusted analysts, who then guide you through your draft, whether you just need a sounding board on decisions, or if you need them to conduct your entire draft. Draft Day Consultants has you covered. Every one of their consultants has a proven track record of success, and have conducted hundreds, even thousands of mock drafts. Thanks to this year-round research and analysis, the guys at DDC have an unmatched understanding of player values. So gain an edge on your league mates this season by hitting up DraftDayConsultants.com. That's www.DraftDayConsultants.com. Now get after it, fantasy footballers. Hip-hop fans, I got a great album for you. The debut album from Family Grind ENT, True Speech, and 313 Fresh. We're going to give you two discs, 33 songs of pure, genuine hip-hop. Albums available on iTunes, Amazon, Google Play, IllStreetRex.com, and streaming live right now on Rhapsody, Beats Music, Spotify, Xbox Music, Slacker Radio, and SoundCloud. Check them out today, True Speech and 313 Fresh, Family Grind ENT. Believe in it, get it. Hello, my name is Travis Williams, President and CEO of Academics and Athletic Consultant, focused on educating and empowering tomorrow's collegiate athletic leaders. My passion is for the education and genuine concern and care for today's student athlete. It's the centerpiece of my life's work. A college education, both in and out of the classroom, is a truly rewarding benefit. For more information on AAC, you can go to www.academics and athleticsconsulting.com. Once again, www.academicsandathleticsconsulting.com. Or you can follow me on Facebook at Academics and Athletic Consulting or Twitter at Coach T Wheel 24 or Instagram Travis L. Williams 24. Or you can call me at 404 542 607. Once again, AAC is very proud to partner with J.R. McHenry of the Bossman Radio Show, covering sports and entertainment across the country. 
Please tune in weekly for informative, entertaining, and expert analysis on today's sports and entertainment topics. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, it's your man, JC, the host with the most, baby, and it goes down each and every Saturday night right here in the city of Memphis. That's right, y'all. It goes down at Clicks Sports Bar Memphis, baby. 3705 Malco Way, Memphis, Tennessee, 38125. Come out and join us, the Three Kings, each and every Saturday night for the livest karaoke in the city. Everybody gets in free till 10 p.m., only $5 after. Great food. We got drink specials. We got all kind of games, man. We got the pool tables popping. Whatever you want, we got you, man. Come on out. Have a good time with us each and every Saturday night. That's Clicks Sports Bar, Memphis. JR the Boss Man Show. We're going to be joined by the UNC Greensboro Spartans head coach, Wes Miller on the Boss Man Show. We're going to have so con training me. Coach Miller, how you doing, man? How life over there in Greensboro, man? It got to be good right now. It's, it's great right now, man. We're we're thrilled to be dancing first time in 17 years at UNCG. So everybody's excited right now in Greensboro. Yes, indeed, Coach. I was 14 when you all went to the tournament last, man. I was 14 <laughs> <laughs> Last time. That's crazy. And you know what, coaches? It's, it's going to be a good day for Sunday for you and me because Sunday's about my birthday. I'll be 31 on Sunday. So it'll be a good day for you and me both on Sunday. There you go, man. We're, we're both going to have some fun on Sunday then because we're going to hear our name called. Yes, indeed. Now, Coach, uh, earlier this year in the Soso Con play, ETSU was going crazy, winning all kind of games, man. And I thought they might sweep your whole conference, but uh, I see late here, late. You all been playing so well, you got hot. So, coach, what triggered your team to get hot right here in late February into March? When you're man. Well, you know, Jr. I think we got a veteran team. You know, we we have uh, four seniors and three juniors that have kind of been through it. We we won the regular season in the SoCon a year ago, and we lost by one possession in the in the conference championship to East Tennessee State a year ago. So we've been through it a little bit, thought we were really close. And I think they just kind of kept plugging away. And Even, as you mentioned, er, early in conference play, East Tennessee State looked like they were going to run away with it. They won 13 in a row to start our league. I think we just kind of kept plugging and trying to take care of business one day at a time. And you look up there after the last game of conference play, and we were the outright champions in the regular season. And we're really fortunate to win three games up in Asheville and get, and get the automatic bid to the NCAA tournament a couple nights ago. And, Coach, what does this accomplishment mean to you, mean to the program, mean to the community of Greensboro altogether? I can only imagine just the joy, the elation, the world when you've been on the past few days, man. Oh, it means the world. You know, I'm in, in a mid-major school, you know, it's it's all of our dreams to, and the players, coaches to get to the NCAA tournament. And, you know, you have to – you know, you, you can have a great regular season, but you still got to go win three games – in your conference tournament to get that bid. And uh, we've been talking about it, dreaming about it, you know, having it up there as a goal for seven years since we've been at this at this program. And to actually get there, it, it does mean the world. And it, it's huge for our, for our institution, too. You know, we'll, we'll get UNCG out there on the national stage and should hope we can play a little good, bas- good basketball while we're there as well. Yeah, and Coach, you have – Back to back season with at least twenty five wins, coach, and that's make you feel good as hell to his program to say we got back to back twenty five win seasons. And also, secondly, that means you have a great support staff around the team to make your success flourish. Because without that, coach, it's not going. You just can't have success without that support system around you for your program to grow and flourish. And when these have these success, win on the court, twenty five wins two years in a row, pretty much. Well, no doubt, and, and it, it, you know, we're really fortunate that we've had two great years of like you said success in the win-loss column but it started long before that it's much bigger than just basketball 
Um, we we have some kids that have really bought into what we're doing day to day. We're really big on our day to day approach on and off the floor, just trying to be about growth, you know, trying to, to be about great work ethic. And we have a support staff, you know, just my immediate staff, my assistants, our academic advisors, our strength coach, I mean, all our graduate assistants all the way down the line that has really bought into our vision for the program. And then we've had some kids that have bought into it. We weren't very good three or four years ago, but that day-to-day approach has really kind of taken its toll. And some of those kids that struggled three or four years ago, they've been able to see some success here the last couple of years, and we're really proud of that process. Folks, you have Wes Miller with me here, UNCG Sparks here on the Boss Man Show. Now, Coach, uh, for my listeners who may not be familiar with your team as I am, because I watch basketball all the time, so calm ball right in my backyard, I was watching it. So who are some the key guys on your team that you want to identify who's helped you all year long and in the conference tournament to get you to this point to go into the big dance one more time for your school since 01? Well, you, shoot, they're all key, right? Everyone that put the jersey on is key. But, no, I know what you're asking. We we have a number of great players this year. Um, I think it starts with Francis Alonzo. He's a, a junior from Spain. I think he's one of the best three-point shooters in the nation. I mean, he shoots well over 40%. I haven't looked recently, but a couple, you know, a couple weeks back, he'd already made 100 threes this year. Um, literally one of the best three-point shooters in the country, and he can do some things with the ball. Really, really special player. Uh, we have two seniors in Marvin Smith and Jordy Kuyper. Marvin on the perimeter, small forward. Jordy Kuyper's a big guy for us. That like started out as just average role players in our program, have worked into all league type guys, um, and then we have a sophomore forward and James Dickey that was the SoCon defensive player of the year second team all league he's 6'9 blocked shots he led the league in shot blocking and rebounding actually can play way above the rim he's a great athlete uh, not to mention a, b- a bunch of other guys but there is one guy since we're talking you know some people down in Georgia we have a, a freshman by the name of Isaiah Miller and we have a really veteran team so we we probably held him back a little bit because there's so many good players ahead of him but he comes in the game and he has instant energy. He was on the all freshman team and he may be the best athlete I've ever coached. He's got a 40 plus inch vertical. He can do a lot off the bounce, but he plays way above the rim at six feet and he's repping Georgia hard. So he always talks to us about how great the state of Georgia is and how great the basketball is down there. So I know he'll be glad that I've talked about him on the radio, but he's made Sports Center top 10 a couple of times this year. He's a really exciting young player. Yeah, Coach, I've seen him in action a little bit there, Coach. And I can see a lot of talent down here in Atlanta, man, Coach. I, I see so many coaches come through here all season, all season, all season long trying to find guys to stop by the studio here and see me. So, Coach, we got to get you, get you on this to stop by the studio when you come in town recruiting these great Georgia kids around here, man. A lot of talent down here in the dirty south here. Oh, well, we got two right now from Atlanta, Isaiah Miller and Kyron Galloway, and they've been fantastic. So, I'm going to keep bringing my butt down there to recruit. I'll come see you anytime I get down. I'd love to visit with you in the studio. Speaking of recruiting, Coach, this exposure, Tom mentioned a little earlier, it's exposure for UNCG. It's going to make guys say, hey, this team gets to the tournament. I could go play here. Their coach has a, a great personality, a great style of play, a great culture that I can buy into. Because, you know, guys don't talk about it on, on, the, on, the, on the TV and the pregame shows about your, your squad. So that's, that can be the best recruiting tool right there is you're in a tournament in national TV, TBS, CBS, they talking about you guys playing. No, you're, you're right about it. I mean, you know, we'll, we'll have a chance to play on the national stage. And I hope when kids watch us play, they'll see it's a type of program that's a player's program first that, we let guys play. We demand a lot defensively and, and that type of thing because we want to have a lot of success. But I really hope it will attract more players to our school because I think we got a special thing going, not just in our program, but it's a pretty cool institution as well. And, and Greensboro is a pretty nice place to go to college. It's a college town. You got that right because I've been a few towns. I like Greensboro. It's a great town. Love it. Now, Coach, I'm ask you this. Now, how do you balance this, Coach, uh, between rest – and staying sharp, especially not knowing what day you're going to play and who you're going to play, of course, right now. But how do you balance the rest versus versus rust thing here in the next few days here going forward? Yeah, that's a great question. I, we sat down at the staff yesterday for a couple hours because, you know, we've, we've been at it all the way through the end of conference play. I think we finished conference playing eight games in 18 days. So we were a little beat up there. And then obviously you just played three games in a row in the conference tournament. 
So we've given them a couple of days off. We're going to get back in the gym tomorrow and, and do a lot of skill work and try to practice a couple more times before Selection Sunday. We want to stay sharp. We want to stay in shape. We want to kind of, kind of try to continue to improve at some of the basic values and fundamentals in our program. But make no mistake, with a week and a half here, we want to get some fresh legs too. So, you know, a couple workouts, a couple lifting sessions, a couple days off, and a couple good practices, and, and then we'll find out what we're doing on Selection Sunday. Well, Coach, I'm definitely going to be looking out for you in my brackets because I feel like no higher, higher seat wants to play somebody like your team, man. I know your team is kind of a team that can make, make make ways and upset somebody because you got that blend of good mix here on your, on your roster, and I just feel like, hey, you can see your team you don't want to see. So I'm going to be happy part of my, my bracket buster when it comes out there on Sunday <laughs> on my birthday, man, for sure. Well, I appreciate it, man. I can tell you this. I know it will be a challenge because, uh, you know, we'll, we'll hopefully be picked with a good seed, but we know we'll be picked some, we'll be playing somebody that's, that's seated way ahead of us. Um, I can tell you this, though, we're not going to be afraid, man. We're going to come out swinging, so we're looking forward to it. Hey, Coach, you Spartans. That's how Spartans do that. Spartans don't back down. They attack you. <laughs> no going to be a full home. Right? Your, name, your name says it all there, Coach, the Spartans. Hey, <laughs> Spartans get it, man. No doubt, no doubt. I appreciate you. But Coach Miller, you have a great weekend, man, and a great section Sunday. And we'll talk to you real soon, man. Best of luck to you. When you come to town, man, definitely, definitely give me a holler. Love to have you in the studio, man. Hey, I'll be there. Appreciate you having me on. All right, folks. What's on the Boston Show, people? Check them out. All your photo, video, and voiceover needs, check out the fine folks at Blueberry Productions. They will take good care of you. If you don't believe me, you can see for yourself. Check out their work at blueberryproductions.tv, the Facebook page, Blueberry Productions, also a Vimeo page, a YouTube page, and it's Blueberry, B L U B E R R Y, fraud on Twitter. Check them out today. Blueberry Productions, great people, great work, great service. A gorgeous tan from Suntan City gives you an inner glow that relights the fire when you run into your first crush. Vicky, who is that? An old boyfriend. Lucky you just tanned at Suntan City. Lucky he's single. We're doing lunch tomorrow. Won't be single for long then. During Tour of the City, try all five tans, including spray tan for just $4.99. Restrictions may apply. Click to buy now. Hip hop fans, I got a great album for you. The debut album from Family Grinding NC, True Speech, and 313 Fresh. We're going to give you two discs, 33 songs of pure, genuine hip hop. Albums available on iTunes, Amazon, Google Play, IllStreetRex.com, and streaming live right now on Rhapsody, Beats Music, Spotify, Xbox Music, Slacker Radio, and SoundCloud. Check them out today. True Speech and 313 Fresh, Family Grind ENT. Believe in it, get it.